Hi, so I thought today we'd have a look at this uh, Omron, if I'm pronouncing that correct. It's the M2 Basic. It's basically a uh, blood pressure monitor um, and uh, yeah, it does your blood pressure and does your heart rate. I've had this one for about two years now. It's um, pretty much the same as what you actually get in the uh, GP uh, surgeries as well when you see your uh, doctor. Basically, it's got a bit of a fault with it. Sometimes it just doesn't seem to read it at all. It just basically doesn't inflate the cuff properly. I have had it apart before and looked around, um, but I thought anyway, I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to have a quick look inside and see what they uh, put into one of these things. You basically just got um, two screws at the bottom there. This is your uh, battery pack there, it's uh, four uh, AAA batteries. Has got a DC uh, barrel jack on the side there, which is a six volt input. Um, it doesn't come with an adapter, um, I think you have to actually get those separately. Now, I should probably use a spudger for this really, but there we are. Okay, so that's the top cover there. As you can see, we've got the screen here. Uh, it just sits in this little uh, mechanism here. I think actually I lost a screw for that somewhere. Um, one thing I would say about this with the screen, as you can see, the ribbon cable is just one of those ones that's been glued on. Um, so obviously if you are taking this apart, you just got to be careful because obviously if you rip that, then that's probably the end of the uh, the thing completely. So here we can see inside now. So basically we've got a switch here. Um, that's what you press to start the device. We've got our DC barrel jack and the cable's coming over there. This is your uh, outlet here to your pressure cuff. Take that out. Say so the LCD there, which I'll just be careful about. Main board here. Basically, here we got a motor and a little kind of attachment, um, which obviously creates the uh, the pump to inflate the cuff. Some sort of um, pipe work along here. Um, so it's interesting. What I do is I'll take out this uh, board here, and I can show you as well with the part of it that does seem to be faulty um, on this. It never used here. to be. Right, so basically we've got the board here. Now, as you can see, the motor here drives the pump. You've got the airflow going through here. Now you've got this device here, which I believe is the one that's faulty. I think it might be a solenoid, um, because obviously once it inflates the, the cuff up, and then it starts to deflate the cuff um, as it's taking the reading, um, when it's sort of got to the point where it's able to read the uh, information, you obviously want to deflate any excess air, and I think the solenoid, if that's what it's for, and that's what doesn't seem to work at the moment. Initially, what's happening is it would just be completely open, so of course you try and inflate the cuff, and the air would come down here, and then just go straight back out the uh, back of this uh, solenoid, which I think it is out there. If anyone knows um, any more information, let me know. Um, got this little. Uh, bit here, not quite sure what it does because you can't actually get any air through it. Um, I think actually, thinking about it, it might be, let's have a look. No, I tried blowing from the other end so it's not any kind of inlet either, just kind of a bit pointless really. And then obviously that goes there to your output to the uh, to your cuff there. Um, then obviously what you've got here as well, if we can get this out again. On the back here you've got this here as your input then and there's a pipe there and this is where the air then basically the, the pressure of the air comes into there and then your little uh, pressure sensor there and then that can obviously detect I believe how it works is that as it slowly deflates the cuff it's um, detecting sort of the um, there's obviously an increase in pressure each time you're, uh, you've got a, a beat of the heart and that way it can um, it can work out what your uh, blood pressure is and what your heart rate is. So there's a closer look at the board here. You can see there's lots of spare spaces because with these you can get um, various uh, models that do different things. Got some test pads over there. Looks like another connection there. That's uh, CON4. There's might be another connection actually or more test pads because yeah you got CON2, CON4 there. Got this chip there. Don't think we can get anything off that at all. 
where we can get there is that scribbled A3, so I'm not quite sure what that is. I think they might have actually ground that down to prevent people seeing what they're using. And then further down here, as you can see, we've got the uh, ribbon cable here. That's going off CON1, and that basically just goes down to our board with our switch, and there is a capacitor there. 10 volt, I guess that's 100 mic. And a spare one there. Let's see if we can get into that pressure sensor and see what that part number is. Okay, so that sensor there is PP01 KYW9. So yes, I haven't looked up any information about it yet. Um, but yes, yeah, so like I say, I think that might be a solenoid valve um, and that seems to be uh, not working. It's uh, either just lets the air straight back out or um, it will work. Recently it's been working okay, um, just it won't deflate the cuff fully once you've uh, once it's finished taking the uh, the reading. So we'll pop this back together now. Um, basically the um, there's different models of this that have uh, logging as well so you can take various readings and uh, get it to remember I don't know how many, 10 or something like that uh, previous readings. Now I've had a closer look at that chip, there's no writing on it at all so I think they've uh, they've obviously decided to uh, grind that off or something on there. Like I said, I seem to have lost a screw from there at some point. If you're interested in the full uh, details there, that's the M2 Basic HEM-7116-E8 and then a open bracket V close bracket. You can see there are four 1.5 volt cells and uh, DC volts at 4 watts. So yes, yeah, so that's basically a quick look inside one of these devices. Do basically, you've got your cuff, you'd obviously have that on and then when you turn it on it would um, inflate the cuff. I can actually probably grip that a bit. I'd say it's, you can probably hear the motor getting a bit faster. It's definitely been a fair bit uh, dodgy recently, but it is still working at the moment. It's just that when it has finished taking a reading, it won't uh, deflate the cuff properly and obviously it won't do a reading without the cuff being on. Anyway I hope that you found that video of um, some interest and if you did uh, please give it a uh, big thumbs up and I'll be back for some more videos soon. Thank you.